Hi everybody, back again with another sort of filler video. Um, as promised this time it's the last of my Dungeons and Dragons board games. This is the Wrath of a Shardalon. And again all I'm going to show you is the substituted pre-painted figures that you can buy for this game. Um, I, I believe nearly every figure that I have pre-painted is exactly the same as the ones that come in the box. Um, I'll show you the ones I'll, when I get to the ones that aren't do not come in the box. Um, I'll let you know about them. So, first things first, we'll show you the heroes. So the first one, we have Heskin, the Dragonborn Wizard, and this is the pre-painted figure, and this is exactly the same as the figure that comes in the box. And if you want this figure, then go online and search for Dragonborn Elementalist. That's this exact figure. Um, show you one of the monsters. Here we have um, Margrath, the Duergar captain. Uh, let's bear me with a sec. Here's the actual pre-painted figure. And the figure uh, for this is the Jurgar Cleric of Asmodeus. Asmodeus. I'll say that again. The Jurgar Cleric of Asmodeus. So if you want this pre-painted figure, that's the one you'll have to type in on your search engine on eBay. And if I turn around the back, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Ochgyu, I presume it's something like that. And here is the pre painted figure. It's quite a big figure, this one. Um, there is another one. Uh, this isn't the exact figure that came in the box. Um, I preferred the look on this one, though. I thought this one looked a lot better, which is why I bought it. And this is the. Um, Life Leech Ot Yug, if you wish to purchase that one. Right, moving on to the next, we'll do another one of the monsters. Here's the Rage Drake. And this is the pre painted figure. And this is exactly the same as the one that comes in the box. Another quite big figure, and it's exactly the same name, Rage Drake. Uh, I'll show you another hero. Here we have Tarak, the half orc rogue, and here is the pre painted figure. Again, exactly the same as the one that came in the box. And the name for this one is the Half Orc Thug. Now, this one, Kalith, uh, the Elf Paladin, there isn't an actual figure for this. This is the one that comes in the box. Um, they haven't actually released one like this that I've seen anyway. Um, I haven't managed to find it, so what I'm going to do is I will substitute it for another figure when I find one that uh, is good enough to represent this character. So that is the only one out of all my figures from this board this board game that I haven't got that's painted. Another one of the monsters. This is Crash the Orc Storm Shaman. And here is the pre-painted figure. better paint job on this figure and the name of this one is the Orc Wolf Shaman if I turn the card over you've got Mirak the Kobold Dragon Lord and here is the pre-painted figure for that 
Again, all these are exactly the same as the ones that come in the box. And the actual name of this one is Meepo Dragon Lord. These again are all D and D um, miniatures from the D and D line. Okay, another one of the heroes. Here we have Vistra, dwarf fighter. It's a female dwarf, and here is a pre-painted figure. Not bad detail on this one. And the name for this one is the Dwarf Shield Maiden. And the last hero is Quinn, the human cleric. And here he is. When it focuses. There you go. And the name of this one is the Human Cleric of Bahamut. Just type in Human Cleric and you, you'll probably see one of these come up. Okay, on to the monsters. Here we have the snake. And this is the painted miniature. Finally focused. And this is the fiendish snake. Try and move along swiftly here. Got the gibbering mouther. This one took me a little while to find. I can normally, when I searched on eBay, there was only one available. Uh, so I persevered with it and managed to find three together. And the gibbering mouther is the same name. Here we have the human cultist. And the name of the human cultist is the Blood of Vol cultist. It's not focusing very well here, it's picking up my fingers more than anything. There you go. Um, now we have the cave bear. Again, all these figures, the monsters anyway, there's three of them in the game, so you have to buy three. Here's the cave bear, and it's exactly the same name. Next we have the orc archer. And there's the painted figure. The same name for this guy. Uh, here's one of the smallest ones in the game, the Cobalt Dragon Shield. And the pre painted figure. And the name of this is the Cobalt Champion. Here we have the Legion Devil and the pre-painted figure. And this is the Legion Devil Legionnaire. Not many more to go now. Um, the Orc Smasher. And here's the pre-painted figure. And it's the Orc uh, Mauler is the name for this figure. Here we have the Jurgar Guard, which is basically a dwarf. Again, three of these. And it's the Jurgar Warrior that you need to search for. 
And here we have the grill. Tentacle type beast. And it's the same name if you're searching for this one. And almost last, two to go. Got these, this guy, Bellax Gauth or Gorth. And here's the painted figure. You can buy bigger ones of these if you wish. Uh, but I stuck with this one. It's exactly the same as what came in the box. And the bigger ones obviously a lot more expensive. And it's this is the um, just called the Gorth or the Gal Gauth, however you want to pronounce it, which is that name there. And finally, the main guy himself, a Shardalon. This is the most expensive one to buy, and here is the pre-painted a Shardalon. not a bad paint job um, it works well in the game and this is the huge red dragon uh, price wise I think this in British money uh, was about 35 pounds something like that and obviously working all the way down to the smaller figures which were probably about one pound fifty something like that so that's the sort of range you're looking at 35 so the video paused there so I don't know if you caught what I said so if you're wishing to do the same thing as me save up all your money and get them or if you've got the time and you're pretty good with a paintbrush paint the figures that come in the box anyway um, it's a hell of a lot cheaper you can probably do a better job than these pre-painted ones. So, there you go. That's my final video on the Dungeons & Dragons board games that I've got. Um, I might do a video of a game in play at some point. Uh, when I get uh, a better camera and you don't get none of this shakiness that I've got with this handheld phone. Um, just a little bit of news, if you'd seen my Zombie Land, uh, not Zombie Land, Zombie Side vi uh, videos that I'd done a little while ago, um, I will be doing another video of that because I've the actual figures that come in the game, um, I have got somebody painting them up for me, or he's just going to start painting them up, and I've also ordered um, this, the three extra characters that you didn't get with the game that are really hard to get I've ordered them and they are already painted up so um, hopefully within the next two weeks I should get those all those figures through in the post and I will do a proper hopefully a proper professional video um, of a, one of those games those scenarios from that game in play uh, be much better than the videos that I've done earlier um, because looking back at the videos that I did, uh, the way I had the camera moving around the board, um, I was talking about something that I wasn't showing you on the on the camera. It was pointed somewhere else. So I want to redo um, the zombie side videos now that I know the rules properly, and I do know how to play the game properly now. Um, I'll be able to give you an expert run through of the game with the proper rules. So if you're interested in that, stay stay tuned for it. So it'll probably be in a couple of weeks' time. Um, probably around about my birthday, which is February the 15th. Uh, I've got about five days off work then, so hopefully I should have them then. I'll do the video then. Um, but anyway, as usual, thanks for watching this video. Uh, feel free to leave comments. Um, I will be doing some more Hot Toys videos next because that's mainly what my channel is all about uh, but I say I just like doing these sort of things as well just for something a little bit different uh, just to drag in a few more people to watch the videos 
Not that I'm desperate for people to watch and sub, but sounds like I am. So until next time, take care and catch you guys later.